Hello everybody, Bubble Zest here and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. In today's video we're going to be doing a guide to the Achievement BFF. Alright, that's not the most interesting achievement we can do. What we're mostly going to be aiming for is intervention in Spain and see if we as Portugal can win that war. So let's begin, shall we? Only two research slots, so I guess it's going to have to be industry and electronics for our focus for now. For our sibs, may as well just be mills because we don't have too many of those. May as well create an intelligence agency though. For our dockyards, convoys, the focus, it's going to have to just be the new state. Oh hey, we have 18 divisions, that's not so bad actually. We're going to change them all over to cavalry, and just park them on the front line with Spain. And of course exercise, last thing I want is green units on the front line. But that is pretty much all our prep, so let's go to speed 5, and begin. We're definitely going to have to upgrade this intelligence agency to give us as many benefits as we can. So let's focus on cryptology for now. I would begin to break Spain's cipher now, but we want to break Nationalist Spain's cipher, and this tag is not Nationalist Spain's tag, so we'll save. As you can see here, Nationalist Spain is technically a different tag from the Spanish Republic, just waiting to be used at any time. So if you actually beat any Spain early, you could release Nationalist Spain as your puppet. And there we go, new state. Let's just save political power for a few days so we can hire ourselves a democratic reformer. And there we go. Now time to continue the public works and get ourselves an extra research slot. In the past I might have wanted to flip via civil war, but weirdly I think there's been a little change to how civil wars work. Expand civil support used to give minus 3 stability a week, but now it seems to only give minus 0.3 stability a week. So especially with Salazar giving us 0.5 stability a week, it's not really as viable anymore to flip quickly that way. So we're just going to have to build all of our support to get 50% and then flip this way. Uh, if we're going to buy anything, might as well be from the Brits so they like us ever so slightly more. I mean, they already like us to begin with as we have the Anglo-Portuguese Alliance. Should not be building support equipment now because the cavalry units don't use them. All in on guns right now. But who could have seen this coming? The Spanish Civil War has yet again begun. So let's begin to break the Nationalist Cipher and spend our spy there. A left for the Civil War today will be very important. The longer it goes on, the potentially more strong or what the- wait, 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 wait. What's happened to Jose Sanjuro's portrait? I did a practice game like two hours ago and his portrait was fine. What's happened with Hope Sanjuro's portrait? How? Has Paradox done a hot fix or something and I haven't noticed and they've broken Sanjuro's portrait? Sorry, that- I did not see that one coming. Right, 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 right. Back on topic, Bubbles, back on topic. The length of the Civil War today is very useful because it could weaken or strengthen the Nationalists depending on length and time. The Civil War will officially end for them once they do fuse the parties and that ends Carlist Uprising for them, which will usually be around March 1938. We kind of want a shortish Civil War for them, so they're weak, and we want to attack them pretty much after they've done fuse the parties and their Civil War is considered over because that will be their weakest time. Anyway. For focus now, we're not going to do strict neutrality for some time, we're going to go for OGMA, Portuguese Artillery and Military Research Facilities. Portuguese Artillery gives 2 mils compared to military vehicles and that's much more useful. And with our other spy, for now something like Galicia, but we'll probably send them to like Madrid when the war ends. Funnily enough, in November 2021 I visited Porto and in their military museum I actually came across some Portuguese Artillery. I also came across a bust of Salazar, which was interesting to come across. We have enough political power, so we're going to ban fascism. It splits the support a few ways, communist, non-aligned, but it gives a tiny bit more support for democratic. The main thing here that we kind of want is more events for democratic support, like democratic opposition forming. It's RNG dependent, unfortunately. Well, for once the Republican era did do something interesting, they encircled some nationalist units. Maybe they're the volunteers, who knows? Oh no, never mind, they got rescued. Why is today the day we're actually seeing the Republicans push? They managed to take Salamanca, of all things. After military research facilities, army reorganisation, because unreliable army is not a good national spirit. Don't know how in just 70 days we could deal with all of that, but that's how it be. Recruitable population factor is weird, but as far as I know, what it means is if you have 100 people, right now we could only recruit 75 of them. Or if you had 110%, you could recruit 110 somehow. So it is actually pretty strong. And we're now in a positive amount of weapons. 
A small amount, but that means we could slowly begin to train more cavalry. How many can we afford? Around eight right now. That's alright. Train them and put them on the front line. And that is one of the weakest anarchists I've ever seen. This might be a long civil war. And now it's time for us to, quite belatedly, declare a neutrality in all of this. Yeah, at least we have plenty of time to go for all of the upgrades, support weapons, radio, computer machine. <laughs> there we go, we've put our foot down and said we're not going to be involved with this, even though our ultimate plan is to be. Anyway, we're now going to do British investment in the mines for that extra democratic flip. But also the research speed is very useful. Well, that's good. The Nationalists are clearly winning, but I would have thought it might take them a bit quicker. But progress nevertheless for them. And of course, British industrial investments, which is actually pretty good. Four sieves, I mean, it does remove new states, but oh well. well I mean, we're not going to be keeping with that idea for very long anyway. And there we go. I would do allow free elections, but we don't have enough support for that. But luckily, we should be able to get some. So let's open up political discourse and discredit the government. There we go, we can now do it. I don't know why it requires 50% support, when at the same time you would be able to do a national referendum. It should be someone like 40%, like Mexico's tree. Uh, Britain wants to nag, and can we get military access? Yes, we can. May as well. These also increase our relations with them, which heavily increases our chance of us being allowed into the Allies. I mean, it'd be really unfortunate if we got rejected at this point, but stranger things have happened. Can't believe Salamanca has held this whole time since the Republicans took it. I feel like I'm doing an AI only here. I'm just observing what they're doing. So for nation in arms, you need 40%. For national syndicalism, you need 40%. And democratic is the exception with 50. And there we go, free elections. Let's immediately do the first one we came here for, join the allies. Let's also use this extra general we've got. And there we go. And this is what I was hoping for. Since war support is a bit high, we get this event. Public demands rearmament. We get early mode and limited conscription for free. Which is very, very good. We could jump up to partial mode, but still, I'm not going to complain with that. Let's start off with, by doing a silent work course, though. There we go. 1.3 political power a day. Much better. Oh, yes, I almost forgot as well. We are democratic, so we can, with our garrisons, go over here for civilian oversight to local autonomy. Should hopefully give us some more manpower over time. They absolutely love us. Yeah, 100 relations, 100 relations. Wow, the UK even improved relations with us. They absolutely love us. Oh, Madrid has fallen as well. So, spy, Madrid. Uh, let's go for that army reformer. XP is still useful. And we are in the Allies. Mm, doesn't look like the Spanish Civil War will end until unplanned offensive in Valencia is gone. So what should we do now? Uh, colonial assimilation policy for more manpower. Hmm, do you really think we have common aligned goals here, Franco? Because I sure don't. And anyway, 20,000 manpower that we don't have? No, no, no. I believe cavalry are counted as infantry, so you're the guy. Well, surely the siege of Valencia is about to end. May as well just wait. And finally! Right, immediately, intervention in Spain. Don't know why we couldn't have done that earlier, but whatever. They currently have no more than 21 units, and we have 52 horses. Yeah, we'll do pretty good. They also have to cover all their ports against Britain and France. We will just be able to run circles around them. The last thing I want to do is call in Britain and France in, in this war, because Britain and France, well, you know, they'll puppet, they'll take land. Not to mention all the uncalled stuff that currently exists. Right. It's time. Let's declare. There's an important thing to remember right now. Technically, all the Nashes have core to the states, like in the north and these states right next to us. And that's all we need to take for them to surrender. We don't need to take things like Madrid, as right now it's technically not a core. So right now, our plan is to encircle the Nationalists and just run to the victory points. There's not much they could do because we have so many units. The main problem, though, is that Germany and Italy all still send volunteers, because... That's just how their AI works, they will send volunteers to National Spain if they can. Main thing for me though is, will you guys help me? Oh no, okay. Still have a massive amount of guns, oh well. Again though, let's go for the victory points. 
So, Leon, Oviedo, and especially Bilbao, as that's 10. Even bigger than Burgos. Uh, and now I have a deficit. Will you guys help me? This is not for any particular reason, I just wanted to do that. <laughs> and there you go, first encirclement. Uh, La Coronia fell without a fight. That's nice. And encircled as well. Already only 15% to go. So probably Pamplona and Zaragoza will do. Somehow we allowed Burgos to refill, but when we re retake it, that should be the end end of that. Or not. And the volunteers are here. Great. We still need Zaragoza. And that's the end of Nationalist Spain. Very good. Oh no. Oh, I. This glitch has happened again. What's happened is both Spains still have cores. So, what happened? Look, look, Nationalist Spain and Spain. <laughs> that means we can have two Spains. The most significant thing about this glitch is in here, look. That means they have cores in Spanish Africa, West of Sahara, Ifni, and even Equatorial Guinea. What am I going to do about that? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to take their colonies for myself for the moment, at least. If you wanted, you could get some other puppets like Galicia, Basque Country, Catalonia. You know what, let's go for Galicia today. And we'll just puppet the rest. And done. Portuguese Republic, Republic of Galicia, and Spain was puppeted. But if I'm correct, we might be able to do one more. Yes, we can. We can release Spain in Spanish Africa, Equatorial Guinea, Rio de Janeiro, and City Ifni. So, Spain 1 and Spain 2. And they'll also be led by the same man, Manuel Lozana and Manuel Lozana. Figurehead president, figurehead president. Have you heard that he's a figurehead president? <laughs> the Spanish Civil War, when it ends, is meant to remove cause. But sometimes you have this glitch where it doesn't happen. I've seen this happen with Carlos, the Anarchists, even the Nationalists when they get defeated sometimes. So, unfortunately, you, this glitch is a bit inconsistent, but you can see it sometimes. Just keep an eye out for something like this. Spain... Spain. 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 What a mess. Well, that war was actually pretty fun. As far as I could tell, it only took us like 21 days or so. Could have been even faster, maybe. But, you know, I think that was pretty good in all, all in itself. Even the volunteers weren't really a problem. Sure, they showed up, but they couldn't do anything. So, I, this just definitely concludes this little guide to the achievement BFF and the Portuguese intervention in Spain. I think this even, yep, makes us the largest producer of world tension right now. And yes, I know, this is not really a major achievement BFF, but what I was going to do this week had to be changed at very short notice. I don't really have time to do anything else. This is the best I can do, I'm afraid. But actually, I'm afraid... Ah, this is actually pretty fun. I know, it didn't take me very long, but it was very fun, and that's probably what you really want out of a game like Hearts of Iron 4. So, I thank you for watching, I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Video ideas are always open. But until we meet again, from me, Bubble Zest, good bye. Something about Azana who signed the Pact of San Sebastian no less than 10 years ago, restoring the monarchy that he helped overthrow is very, very ironic. This is only because, though, Dictator for Life is meant for Franco and Franco alone, so eventually, if you have any other leader in power, he will do restore the monarchy. Funnily enough, though, he still has figurehead president in this Spain, former nationalist Spain, but in the Republican Spain, he is now a great survivor. And there he goes. He did it. Although apparently it was actually Francisco Franco who did it. Tells you who's really meant to be doing this, you know.